Ladies and gentlemen, this will be a very short Millionaire Mansions segment. Reason being, I know I said there's other features for this particular cottage. It's just big. <laughs> nah, that's all I can say to you. So we're going to go through the rooms, do like an MTV crib sort of thing. Uh, but in terms of features, it's just this expanse of it and the utilities within. So I apologise, like I said, there's no swimming pool with this one, there's no jacuzzi with this one. It's just a big place to hang out in. So let's go. Here we have one of the rooms. Two singles. Followed by a double with his own TV and a couple of sofas in there as well. Next we have a... I mean, it's nice. It's got toilet, it's got shower. It's just nice. It's, it's, it's better than what you would normally be used to in your terrace houses. At the beginning, we have the main entrance over here. In the main entrance, this is what you'd expect. This is cool benches, take your shoes off a closet for your coats. Nothing special. We will go upstairs in a short while. But let's go to the main entrance. Sorry, the main um, uh, living slash dining area. So here we have our meals. Over here we relax. If you had to guess what size screen that was, what screen size would you say it is? That is a 75 incher. It looks huge. I mean, to be fair, I reckon that TV is wider than I am tall. I'm 5'10". And that screen is huge. So anyway, one remarkable feature that I have seen about this place is the fans. Funnily enough, I'm looking here on the phone screen that I'm holding up and the fans look really slow, but when I'm looking at them, they look really fast. They look really fast. Isn't that weird? Okay, so a few sofas died about and it's to create a cinema experience with that widescreen TV and then like I said, design. Here's something that I'd like to show you and this isn't anything special. Oh, by the way, um, log burner fireplace. <coughs> I like drinks, okay? But not necessarily alcoholic drinks. I like fizzy drinks, soft drinks. But with people who drink alcohol, uh, you guys have a tendency to create fancy glasses. So for example, with wine, you empty a bottle into a decanter, okay? And that's to let the air in. What that does, I don't know. But um, when you let the air in, apparently the wine tastes nicer. And you have different types of alcoholic beverages. You have sherries, you have port, you have brandy, you have rum, you have... Uh, whiskey, you have vodka. I mean, it, it goes on, it goes on. What I've always loved, and not the alcohol, I, I, I can't stand alcohol, not that I would know, uh, but one thing that I can, what I love, <laughs> not about alcohol, but the, the culture around alcoholic beverages is your containers. The glasses, the, the bottles that you guys have, I absolutely love the, <laughs> the wine bottles, the rum bottles, for example, uh, if you've ever seen Paris of the Caribbean, the first one where Jack Sparrow is drinking from uh, a, a rum container, that to me, I would love to have one of those. In this house, we have a cabinet and it's got like oriental engravings on them. I love the orient as well. When we open one of these up, and it's this one that we're interested in, it has, and I, I apologize if this is getting boring for some of you, you can skip ahead a few minutes if you want to see the rest of the rooms. This one has a array of wine and sherry 
possibly port or shots, scotch glasses. I absolutely love stuff like this. You know, I, I, I see one of these and all I want to do is put a little bit of, uh, you know, I find it tastes better, even though it's the exact same drink that you would have from any other glass or any other plastic cup or whatever. When you put them into these glass receptacles with these engravings on them or different styles on them, I feel as though there is a taste that is different. Call me delusional if you wish, I don't mind, that's fine. Anyway, let's get on with this uh, tour of ours, shall we? So next we have, is this open? Yes, it's open. Do you remember yesterday when we went for a walk around? This is that decking area. So the main living room area goes out into the decking. And then, like I said, we have the grass area. I made a mistake in the last video, guys. There is an apple tree and it's over there. Can you see where the red tree is? Right next to it, that's an apple tree. So I was wrong about that. So this place does have an apple tree. But let's go back in because I don't deal well with the sun. I'm already sweating. Okay. So now that we've... Oh no, there's loads, there's loads more seed on here. So let's have a look at the other room, shall we? We are going in to the kitchen area. Surprisingly, for a um, holiday home, it doesn't really take your breath away. I mean, there's counters, tabletop, a hob, a TV screen in the kitchen, built-in facilities. It's to be expected. It doesn't scream out to you, I'm having a great time here. I mean, you can tell, but I'm not that enthused by this place. And then we have... Uh, a little wine cooler, chillers, we just put our soft drinks in, and yeah, utilities. So, you know, I'm, oh by the way, through there is a bedroom, we're not going to go in because it's private. You've seen other iterations of this show, and the other iterations of the show are very enthusiastic and flamboyant with my explanations. The reason why I'm not is because it's nothing... They've got, they've got artwork dotted all over the walls and maybe it's to compensate. For example, I mean, to be fair, I don't think it's suitable for children. Um, <laughs> anyway, let's go upstairs. They've got, they've got artwork dotted all over this place and maybe it's to compensate for a lack of utilities, the lack of facilities. <sighs> what can you do? What can you say? So upstairs, bedroom with ensuite, we can't go in because it's private. Another toilet with shower. Uh, little room for the little ones. My bedroom is over there. So um, that's pretty much all I've got to tell you guys. You see, it's not, it's not exciting this one, is it? So, you know, it just goes to show you, even in this series, there will be Hits and misses, but can I just say thank you very much for sticking with the series. You know, I hope, inshallah, I hope future series will be more exciting, will be more uh, descriptive, and will have further features to show you. The thing with this place is, you know, there wasn't much description on the actual uh, website, it's Airbnb. And the uh, proprietor didn't tell us much. So, but, you know, as a hangout, you know, as a, as a time away, it's all right. It's, it's okay. I mean, it's not bad. It's okay. So, yeah, guys, appreciate you being here. Another iteration of Millionaire Mansions, part of our sub-series for Authentic Annunciations. I am dripping because I don't deal well with heat anyway. It's getting on to 10 minutes. I'm not going to drag it any further. I'm going to go get myself a shower. I'll see you guys soon. Take care.